Hey guys, uh, so a new update for uh, Windows 8 uh, Consumer Preview was released and uh, I installed it and uh, I um, I think it's working a lot better than the first one that they put out. The first one that they put out crashed my computer and I had to format it. It was pretty bad. But this one seems to be a lot smoother and everything seems to be working as it should. Um, most of the things that are in Windows 8 are, it, it looks really good. This is going to be really nice on a tablet. I think it's going to work very well. So here is uh, your start menu and on your keyboard if you the little Windows logo that's on a regular keyboard you press that it brings you here or you just go to the bottom uh, left down here and it, it'll take you back to the last page that you were on. But A lot of times you can just hit your Windows key on your keyboard and it'll bring you back to this page. One thing I like about this though is in the background you do have your regular default um, Windows uh, desktop that you're used to. Um, but this is kind of um, a nice launcher, if you will. It's an overlay, basically, but it's it's it's, it, it's really nice, and it's it's going to do very well once it actually hits the market uh, full time, and they start charging people for it. I've heard rumors that they're going to start charging people fifteen dollars to upgrade, which is extremely affordable. Uh, but I think it's going to be nice. So I just wanted to load it up, or sh you know, let you guys see what it looks like. If you hadn't really had any time to install it, or if you're not going to install it, and you're thinking about it, or you just don't know. Well, here's a quick look at it. So once it starts up, your sign in, uh, it, it'll it'll take you through a setup. I was going to do the setup, but it was a little too long to record, and just you know whatever. It's, it's not you'll see it once you go through it, but it's basically like setting up a smartphone, a Windows smartphone. Uh, so your sign on will your name will always appear up here on the top left. Sorry if that's a little off camera. Uh, and this is the view that you get. So you've got your start. Let me bring the camera back a little bit. That'll help. There you go. So up here on the top right, you can see uh, my my name log on or whatever. And if I click that, it'll let me sign in to different accounts. Very nice. So if I want to um, bring up all the applications, if you hit the right click button, a menu will pop up down on the bottom, as you can see here. And there's a little small icon that says All Apps. And when you press it, it brings up everything that you have on your computer. Sorry guys, my cell phone started ringing. But when you do the application, you right click, um, let me go back, and you right click anywhere on the screen and hit the application button on the bottom right, it brings up all the applications that are on your computer. Now when I did an install, it gives you the option to e erase everything and not install your applications that you already have and start fresh uh, or leave them on there. And there's another option, I forgot what it was, but it gives you the option to start a clean slate. I wouldn't recommend doing that because you don't know how this is gonna work on your computer. If you don't have a backup disk or a backup of your computer already, you need to make one before putting this on. Um, but it gives you those options. So I chose to keep all of my applications because obviously I need them. So when you right click, it brings up uh, these are the tiles like Windows Phone that'll be on your on your desktop, uh, and then you can save, uh, you can pin things to them. If you right click, a little check mark will come up, and then on the bottom left down here, you'll see unpin or pin and that's what you'll see and that's for the taskbar um, that, that you're painting these things on so um, if you let me go back here if you want to pin stuff to the taskbar that's where you would do it at and all your recent applications as you can see are, are over here the ones that you frequently use are, are right here but here's all the applications that you'll see in the panel. And this is a really nice setup. I mean, it's so much better than regular old Windows, I guess I'll say. So from this screen, if you go down to the bottom right, you'll get a menu that comes up on this side here. And you can go to your settings. And here's all the settings down here. You've got power off. Uh, this right here is for your keyboard to add more languages. Well, I don't know why you would want to do that. but um, And here's your notifications it gives you the options that you can do or you can go to PC settings and tiles is up here too and show administration tiles no you don't want to do that so but here's the PC settings and this is what it looks like you can personalize for when you lock your computer this is what you'll see you can personalize your start screen which is this one you can change the colors You see all the different things you can do. So I'll change it to this one and just leave it like that. And 
this is where you can see all your account information this is where you can control what you're notified of you see it's got Xbox Live games down there it's got the store I'll, I'll click on that shortly uh, this is all your search information this is where you can share things and these are general settings like your time and language and everything and privacy settings devices this tells you what you have linked to the computer some devices are not going to be compatible with your computer it'll tell you um, the one that I got was I need to find a player that will play my DVDs um, I don't know what that's about but that's what it said no not a biggie though um, you can this is very nice you can make everything on your screen bigger by clicking that button right there um, you can turn your narrator on to, to read everything you touch on your sync settings obviously that's kind of a no-brainer um, this is for your computer for your group there and here's Windows update and you can check for updates now and it'll let you let you do it so I'll go back now the start menu looks like this pretty cool and I've got the green down there so on this side again when you go all the way over you got your settings devices and you can also get back to the start by going all the way to the bottom right and your share icon and you can search from here and as you see when you go over here it brings up the time and date when you start touching over here now over here on the bottom right it takes you back to the last thing that you've done but if you put your cursor all the way on the bottom right and scroll up you'll see you can see the last things that you've done and you can click where you want to go so if you go here and scroll up with the cursor staying to the right it takes you to all the things that you've last done so I haven't clicked on Xbox Live games or anything but I did do the weather here you can go to the the other desktop by clicking right here it says desktop um, let's go to news and I haven't clicked on any of many of these so I just installed this yesterday so I hadn't had a chance to really get deep involved in it but um, using it every day is you know it's, I just kind of stay on the regular desktop and come back here sometimes but as you can see here it brings up the news and you can use this bar to scan across down here and pick up all the latest news technology that's my spot that's your spot too I know you love it um, entertainment you got usher performing there uh, sports everything this is really nice man this is really 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 a nice setup and if you right click if you see at the top up here it brings up a menu that says Bing Daily My News Trends and Sources I think that's really neat I think they did a good job on this going back you can do your photos here's your sky drive and the store believe it or not it actually loads up there's things that you can get in here now there's not a lot but there is some got a couple of games social entertainment photos music videos sports uh, book references news weather but when I actually went in here there wasn't really a lot to choose from because it's just it's a preview version so it's just getting started oh here's an application that I know people enjoy having sketch very popular application you've got Evernote up there obviously but um, that's uh, the store market if you will and it works um, video would obviously bring up your videos and it says like there's a camera icon here now if I had a camera to this computer it'll probably just start up the camera but all of my applications that I frequently use are over here so if I want to just go to my desktop and get back to a regular view here it is not much to it that's it and you get to enjoy um, the computer as you normally would it's it's not it's not a, so foreign anymore um, but when you want to get out of here, you just scroll to the bottom. Now, if you notice, there's no start menu down here on the bottom. You pan down a little bit. There's no start menu down there. So you can hit the start button on your computer. Or you can go to the bottom right, and it'll bring you there. So that's a quick overview for Windows 8, the the new, uh, the new latest release that they did, the preview copy. Um, I like it. I'm going to leave it on here. I'm not going to switch back to, to Windows 7 or whatever I was using because I mean, I'm going forward. I want to make sure I have the latest product that's out there. And once they start uh, charging, I'm sure they're going to release a lot more features for us. And I, I keep hearing that it's not going to be very much to do it on a PC. But if you want to, if you buy a tablet, those tablets I hear are going to be pretty pricey. So, But if you're a techie like you are because you're watching this video and me, you'll probably go in and you'll probably find yourself purchasing one if the price is right. Alright guys, uh, take care. Be sure to head over to the Blackberry uh, Playbook giveaway. The likes are getting up there. 
I'm subject to drop it down to 200 so I can hurry up and give this thing away. <laughs> but I'll leave it at three for now because there's tons of comments, a good amount of hits. There's over 500 hits on there, but hey, it's a lot of conversation going on. So get the word out there, uh, get the people subscribed. I will move on to the next giveaway. This is my biggest giveaway yet of the Blackberry Playbook. So I will move on to a phone. It won't be a phone that you think you're going to get. It's not going to be my Galaxy Note or anything like that, but it'll be a good one. So let's give away this playbook first, and then we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for checking it out. See you guys.